President Ramaphosa celebrating, uh, they call it a milestone where it's 100 days without load shedding, right? Uh, they are saying, no, people must not relax. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like celebrating something that should have happened a long time ago. But today is being celebrated. So we'll, I'll take you through that, right? And then also I need to take you through to what the minister has got to say about the NG, look at the GNU. Uh, the, it says that the GNU won't and, uh, look, impact ESCOM's plans to assure uh, the look. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that there's no low trading. Ura Mahopa, I was speaking uh, about that Minister of Electricity and Energy. Uh, Ramahopa said on Monday that the new government of national unity will not impact the plans to uh, to ride this. So we'll talk about this. That is exactly what we need to talk about in today's video. The fact that, ah, uh, guys, don't worry. Um, this The GNU is not going to affect this one right so as i'm quoting from this article now it says that uh ramhopa continued in the portfolio following a recent general local general general elections he has however a new deputy minister in the da samantha grahamaya right briefing the media on monday ramhopa reiterated that his commitment to keep south africa informed on the energy metals right so right there you're like okay no problem you keep us informed but what about load shading? Well, we also need to talk about the fact that um, ESCOM has increased the prices. Something that we need. To, it's worth our conversation. It's worth your attention as well. That you're going to be paying more. Right. Maybe they are, they are making you pay more because uh, now they've just ended load shading. Mm, no, 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 no. They have not ended load shading. I almost said it. No. that's I withdrew my words. <laughs> I withdrew my words. So, they've all, they all, I almost said they've ended load shading. No. They've suspended load shading. Chances are it will be back anytime. But now, yeah, he says, speaking about the that, he says, those values are to ensure that we are transparent. So we, we share everything that is important with the general public. Uh, invite comments and we are going to remain uh, robust. I am also going to remain uh, candid. Um, look, so I am not going to claim any easy victories. I will not tell you any lies that's what they meant now imagine a politician telling you i'm not gonna lie to you oh, my God. you just lied and tell me that you're not gonna lie that's a lie on itself you know what i'm saying come on it only takes dumb people not to see that ha huh, this man is lying broad daylight but he's telling me that he's not gonna lie so that should be just because he says he's not, he's not gonna lie it makes him not a liar Whoa. we refuse such spirit condemn it back to send fire <laughs> everything <laughs> we condemn it everything you know what i'm saying nevertheless there's one thing that i don't condemn is the fact that we need to get to 60,000 subscribers so why don't you do this if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed the minister of electricity let's proceed before we go back to ramaphosa while south africans have not experienced any load shedding for more than 100 days ramaphosa admitted that the look the price of electricity is becoming unaffordable it is um, an unattainable situation, says Ramahapa. We are seeing it even like, in developed countries that people decide to get rid or left. Easy among others. As, uh, like, as a function of the um, like, pricing structure of electricity, 
the poor are left out and you are getting into a situation where the lower middle class, your public servants, also cannot afford the price of electricity in this country. Well, so you know about it. What are you doing? Because you are the minister at the end of the day. So you are there to solve problems. What are you doing about it? Speaking about areas that are, 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 look, are facing load reduction. If you are facing load shedding, ESCOM, they are saying, huh? no, 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 no. It's not us. It's your pro the problem of your municipality, not us. Blame your municipality. He says, um, various households, particularly in townships, have experienced load reduction since the beginning of winter. Load reduction is when ESCOM or any other energy supplier intentionally decrease the overall demand for electricity in a specified area to avoid overloading the grid, the power grid. Uh, we have seen that there is, there is a little to investment that has been made to replenishing maintenance, the upkeep and the protection of the protection and the modernization of the infrastructure, they say. We have seen that the, the, look, there is likely to no investment that has been made in replenishing maintenance and upkeep. Oh, we'll break that down. As a result of that, municipalities are under a severe strain. As, as a result of the strain, they now initiate what they call it load reduction. Why didn't they do it during, uh, during elections? Why they waited until the elections were over? It's suspicious that they waited until that time. That alone is very suspicious. He says, we can't simply fold our arms and watch communities experience a significant amount of, uh, of difficulty. If we are to take uh, the constitutional approach, you will understand that it is an ex look, uh, exclusive domain of municipalities where ESCOM is present as a result of legacy issue, but also um, a local invitation by those municipalities, by ESCOM, to be responsible for the infrastructure. That's what the man said. Not me. Don't blame me. Me, I didn't say anything. It's the man, uh, your minister of electricity, that said those words. Well, what do I do, do you think I said? No, I said nothing. I looked at the man and I said nothing. Well, what did Palapala say? Well, this is what Palapala said. Last Friday, Max Hunterton, what, 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 you know most, those, those you know how it goes. Oh, 110, what, 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 what? We don't care about 110, what, what? We care about the country not experiencing low trading. And that's what we care about. This celebration of 100, what, what? We will be happy when we are told that the government of, look, they said that when we are told that, no, actually, there is no, um, there is no low trading anymore, right? Uh, yeah. So I think that's a long and short of it that the man is just celebrating 100 days without low trading, uh, um, the economy, this, the confidence of that, which is, by the way, it doesn't really make sense. Like, honestly speaking, uh, some are even saying that the reason we don't have low trading is because of the government of national unity. And then it will simply mean that the DA is in charge of things. I mean, that's just... It will simply means that we they look from the, from the beginning, guys... Um, the problem was not the lack of any resources for you, for them not to implement load shedding, but it was just a mere people trying to keep people under dark because the DA was not there so that when the DA comes there, they might be made look like the Messiah. You know what I'm saying? They made look like they've done quite an interesting job. Wait, um, there's something in my nose. I don't know what is happening in my nose. Oh, at least there's nothing that is coming out. It's like juicing or nothing. It's just... My nose was itching. Maybe it's because I'm so irritated about a celebration of 100 days without a declaration that do we have low trading or we don't. I think I would have appreciated just a clear directive as to whether or not we're going to be having low trading. To those who are experiencing low trading, as come they are distancing themselves and they're saying, uh -uh, not us. No, 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 no. Blame your municipality. So in Soweto, People are, 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 I was told, they are facing that. In fact, a lot of people have complained about load reduction. Just today, uh, somebody in Free State told me that where, where he is, there's no electricity just gone. You know what I'm saying? 
So why that didn't? Why all of that? It didn't happen during military, during elections. It's an important question that you need to ask.